Good day everyone and welcome to Edward Charles channel. My name is Natasha and I am here to represent for Edward Charles. Whenever he's not in the country, I'm the one who assists, so I'm his assistant. Okay, so today I will be discussing the um, documents that you'll be needing for the farm work program for the u.s and canadian farm work program okay so let me get right into it okay jamaicans so the documents are criteria required for the provisions of services number one is that you must be between 21 and 45 years old so you cannot be under 21 you cannot be 20 and you cannot be over 45 you cannot be 46 so the starting age is 21 and the ending age is 45 that will be accepting for the farm work program number two is that you must be literate okay so you have to can read okay that means if them send you in a strawberry field and you go and you see strawberry you don't see strawberry and think it's blackberry or apple okay guys so three number three you have to be in good health okay and um you cannot be overweight guys we're not accepting anyone that's overweight so get a bmi check and make sure that you're in your in your right weight it cannot be overweight so to be on the farm work program okay so um number four now you have to have a valid passport a valid crn and nis okay so that is all that is required oh one more thing i forgot i almost forgot um they never used to use a farmer's id but since lately um you have to have a farmer's id so you have to go to your radar office whatever parish you're in in jamaica you go to your radar office and you sign up and register for your farmer's id so you'll need your farmer's id your passport a valid valid passport trn and nis you have to be in good health which means you can't be overweight and then something there you cannot be overweight um you have to be literate and you have to be between the age of 21 and 45 years old please people remember to hit the subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so each time we post you can know and be updated thank you okay so now to the next what you must not have okay all right so number one you must not have a criminal record you must not have a criminal record okay number two you have if you must not have been deported by any country you must not have been deported by any country at all you will not be accepted if you were ever deported in your past and three you must not have been refused a visa in the last year by canada us or any other country so if you did go apply the visa and they never give it to you we not, will not be accepting you if it's if it's been like in the last year if it's like it, if, if it was like further like couple two or three year ago fine but if it's in the last year that you went and applied for your visa and it was declined you're not going to be accepted okay and farming experience is required so if you know you have been it's not a must still because you can even even if you never work on a farm or not like that you can still tell them that um you did that's why they are now requiring a farmer's id to prove that yeah they have some farming skills because when you go to your radar office they're going to have you 
about the crops that you plant and stuff like that and you know so you have to prepare to tell them you know a plant cabbage lettuce and so on yeah so you have to have some farming experience it is required to get on the farmer program okay now so next i'm going to go to how to apply for benefits or services all right generally when a recruitment exercise is to be carried out the minister makes an announcement in parliament application forms are issued to suitable candidates through members of parliament mayors councillors mlss parish offices and civic organizations next how oh, the services operate forms are issued and returned to the ministry of labor to be processed so we want to get a form and it will be um after you fill out and uh, fill out the form and everything it will be returned to the ministry of labor to be processed mlss contacts applicants to advise them to of the date sorry of the date time and place of their interview successful candidates are screened for criminal records if security checks are cleared then candidates are informed of the schedule for medical so after medical is completed and workers are found to be in good health international security checks are carried out by the high commission of canada Subsequently, workers are placed with an employer and then called to attend the Visa Application Center, the VAC, to have their biometrics done. This involves the applicants having their photograph and fingerprints taken electronically. Applications are submitted for the issuance of the visa at the, the VAC, known as, I would say, VAC when the biometrics are taken for the u.s program workers are dispatched to their employers shortly after the medical after visas are issued workers are prepared for flight and dispatched to their various employers <laughs> um the benefits out and no benefits mm -hmm um health and death benefits to the sick or injured migrant workers and and their family families sorry so you know that there are benefits if there is any um injuries or death or any health condition god forbid okay guys so there there is um benefits and benefits provided were applicable we are applicable assist with getting follow-up health care for sick and injured migrant workers on the canadian farm and factory work the u.s farm work and the u.s hotel programs assist with accessing overseas pension benefits to persons on the canadian programs assist with ass assessing death benefits for families of deceased migrants so these things you have to like apply for them okay you don't have to but they are being provided anyway but let them know so all the services operates welfare officer submits documents to the respective department and or organization follow up on progress of these two diseased migrant workers bodies are repatriated under the supervision of the legion service and three welfare officers and social workers liaise with family members of the of to offer emotional support um, NIS benefits are accessible by persons who have participated in the program since 1980 for U.S. workers and 1984 for the Canadian workers. The Labour Division 
Okay, so this is about the labor division, labor, the, the labor relations department of the Ministry of Labor and Social Security is responsible for the promotion and maintenance of industrial army in Jamaica. So guys, that is it. Those are the things, the documents that you will be needed for the farmer program, America and Canada. So guys, if you're interested, I've already told you what you'll be needing, what you must and what you must not do. You have to be between 21 to 5, 45 years old. You have to be literate. You have to be in good health. You have to have a valid passport, hearing and NIS. And guys, um, most Jamaicans, most Jamaicans, I see people... When I post on TikTok, they're saying that they went and they did um, the test, and they're saying that they're they're overweight. If it was not, if they were not overweight, they would not be telling those those persons that they were overweight or they are overweight, because Jamaicans so understand that for your height, your BMI, you have to check that for. Or I think Jamaica we have a specific age like if you are five feet say you're five feet two or five feet four you can't be five feet four and be all um 190 pound 150 pound no you have to be like 100 and say 25 30 or or, or that yeah you can't be Five um five feet four and be away hundred and eighty pounds. No, you're overweight and Jamaicans don't understand that. They don't understand that they are overweight. They think that it's okay, the weight is okay that they have on. They think it's normal, but it's not. They are overweight. But because all Jamaicans are we, we, we we're saying that when we have we we, we fat or we thick, we fat and we sexy. No, you're overweight, but you don't know it because that's how we were brought up in Jamaica. So, guys, get your BMI check and all of that. Make sure, say, if you're overweight, you don't. You're not. They're not going to accept you. Okay? Yeah. So, you can go on Google and check for your BMI. Also, you you, you go, you, you type in your height and stuff, and they will they will give you a list of what weight you should be for your height. So guys, this that is it for now. I will I will be back maybe in a day or two to give some more information about the the American and the Euro, the Canadian farmer program. I'm being distracted guys, I'm sorry. Yes, I'll be back to give you some more information and help you in whatever way that you need help to join in this program. So I'm Natasha again and I'm out for now. Bye.